What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out another one of these 10-box Series 2 hockey mixtures for $23.24. And again, it features two hobbies, four tins, four blasters, PYT4. So as I've been explaining in the earlier breaks, guys, we've been out of whack today. We've done breaks three, then we skipped to five. Number two still on the website, and now we're at four. <laughs> so we haven't done number two, guys. Uh, so just know that that's up there. Uh, and then we're skipping to four now. And like I've been mentioning, guys, uh, the majority of the cases have still stayed intact up to X amount of Pick Your Team, so I'm just going to explain it again. So the hobby can stay all the way up from the same case to Pick Your Team 6. So 4 is from the same original case we opened up at number 1. Same thing for the blasters. It went up to number 5 uh, since there's 20 blasters in a case. Uh, but for the tins, after is 1, 2, and 3, uh, we start number 4 and 5, 6, with a new case, which, of course, since we did 5 earlier... We open up the case. These tins will be from the second case now. Uh, so like I said, everything's coming from cases, but they're now going to get a little mixed up because some have 20, some have 12, vice versa. We're using four, we're using two. And as before too, guys, you, if you buy the Blackhawks, you'll get, uh, you have to win, get two teams to win the Blackhawks. So again, out of a possible 15, it could be 15 or it could be 14, it could be 13, depending on how many people got two or more teams. Let's check it out and see who got uh, two or more. So Curtis got two. D-Mac got two. So that is an entry there for each of you. JC got two. That's an entry there. Uh, Karen got one. So no entry there, Karen, but good luck for your Bruins. Kev got two. Matt Buckler got two. That's an entry each for you guys. Matt got two. Uh, M, that's an entry there. Uh, Matthew Wood actually just got the blues in this one, so no entry there. But Scott got five, so that's one off. So that'll be only two entries. Uh, Steve Herrick with four. And Tristan with six. So that's two entries and three entries there. And then uh, Wood with two. That's one entry. So actually, out of a possible 15, we're going to have 14. So 14 names. We're going to click the roll dice. And it's going to be six and a two, eight times. Six and a two, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Boom! Matt was asking for it. I thought he was lagging behind, but I guess he just has bad reception. Well, there you go. You won the Chicago Blackhawks. <laughs> there you go. It's funny how that works. Boom. Uh, yes, it is, Rex. I also forgot to put last one on that one. Both of them, uh, both of those fillers sell out the mixers. I'll change that right now once I get done with this break. All right. All right, so there you go. Knock out the Hawks, and there's everybody else there. Now, no worries. Yeah. John basically bought out the straight-up spots in the three-box mixer. And Andrew and John got into the hip parade cases. So we just canceled the fillers and just left the ones that were up there.
Going to the Dagobah system. Here we go. There's Jackson. And Pavel, a couple of first young guns are ducks. Morella. Nice, Adam Fantilli. He was a number three overall pick. Take like Ottinger. And Grady. And there's a glossy Bedard insert. It's going to Matt, who won that from the uh, giveaway. Actel. Matthew Piotras. Another Pavel. Uh, Big 8 Otono on New Jersey as a show sheet. you hit that, would you crack that? Probably, but if I'm just going to keep it, probably not. Keep it preserved until I want to sell it, maybe. That's what I would do. I'd only crack it if I was going to sell it right away, but if I'm going to keep it for a little bit, I'll leave it in the, PS or the BGS holder. Until maybe I want to sell it. Luke. Philip. Yeah, I'd probably do the same. Probably. Devin Tays. Dimitri. Yeah. Which I don't think I've ever owned a Shohei autograph, so. Maybe I'll keep it for a little bit, and then I'll sell it. Yeah, I don't think I've... Uh, I mean, I've had a lot of Shohei rookies and colors, but I don't think I've... Uh, maybe. Maybe I actually haven't... I haven't known the Shohei auto. Actually. Definitely sold many of them, though. At least for my buddies. I honestly, though, would probably try to get, like, a Shohei Dodgers autograph this year, though. And that's probably why, honestly. You know, Angel's uniform kind of turns me off. <laughs> but. Shohei Dodgers, though. I'll take one of those.
Yeah, I'm with you too. I don't think I'd ever grade anything thick unless it's just to preserve it. And uh, like I said, if it's a big one on one, I don't think it really hurts it as much. Unless it's a horrible, horrible grade. But uh, yeah, I don't really like to send thick stuff either. Unless it looks freaking awesome. That's something that's gonna stay with you. I'd just do it to preserve it. And if it gets a nine, that's still great. It's just still a winner. I think anything like under that eight and under, I think is always gonna hurt it more. But if it gets a nine, even better. People nowadays want perfect all the time, you know? If you do BGS, nine fives is even better. But people nowadays is just like, if it's not a 10, it sucks. And the market is kind of showing that, guys. I've seen so many PSA 9s sell for under raw cards. Can you believe that? People are willing to take that chance at a raw card than buy a PSA 9 or a BGS 9, 9 5. Just crazy. It's already graded for you, bro. But also, too, what people do is they'll, they'll buy the PSA 9, they'll crack it. If they feel like it was a little dirty, they clean it up, they try to fix it, and then they'll resend it in to get a, a 10, which I've seen it happen plenty of times. Which sometimes, yeah, some people don't really clean cards correctly, so that could be the reason why you didn't get a good grade. You got one glossy. That's pretty much it.
All righty, here we go, four tens. Axel. Another Pavel. Fantilli. And Laferrier. Just the tang. Michael. And a Damien Giroux outburst. Juvis. Jotos. And there's a Young Guns checklist with Bedard. So that's going to either go to Scott with the Ducks or that's going to go with Matt with the Hawks. Left or right. Group. Ty Carta. Two more tens, guys. McMahon. Logan, uh, Logan Thompson. Another Michael. Ilya for the Calgary Flames. And there we go. Nice. First Bedard from the Tins case. Got one. And remember, this tins case is the ones that's with uh, four, five, and six. Lafer uh, Laferrier, uh, Lafer yeah. 
Yari Curry. And then Mike Cow. Jackson like home. Got a Bedard, and then a Checklist Bedard. Let's go to the do uh, Dazzlers. Great and Point, Gustafson, Cindy Crosby. Logan Thompson, Stuart Skinner, Mercer. Larkin, Darlene, McKinnon, Panarin, Zuccarello, Evangelista.
All right, second half here, and then we'll do the two boxes. Sean Farrell, UD Canvas Young Guns for the Canadiens. Going to Kev. We got a fluorescent. Matthew Coronato. Calgary Flames going to Curtis. Acto. And nice, population count 500. Uh, Brock Faber for the Minnesota Wild. Going to Tris. Minton. Ludwig, Nikita Kucherov, Canvas, for the Lightning. Those at bats coming, Rex. As long as you bat a career 300, you'll be in the Hall of Fame. Connor, Zeri, and then a Vince Dunn outburst. Alright, here we go. Last box of the break. Elia and Morgan Frost. You know what I will say, guys? Hopefully, I'm going to speak it into existence in this box. But I haven't seen rarely any numbered cards out of this case yet. And I feel like we're due. Oh, my God. I thought that was it. Connor Murphy teaser, though. Jesus. Um, but, yeah, I haven't seen any numbered cards at all in this whole case. So... I don't know. I just feel like there's got to be something lurking. Josh Morrissey for Winnipeg. Tristan Leno. I know, that's right, John. What's going on, John? Okay. Evander Kane. Hunter Shepard. And nice Zach Benson. Well, Mike, I'm sure you didn't know because nobody cares about that con that Connor. Everybody only cares about Bedard 
or Connor McDavid. Philip Forsberg, black and white canvas. And Maxine. Alrighty, guys. Well, still no Connor Bedard in any of our uh, hobby boxes. Jesus. Italian right now. There's got to be something crazy. Uh, but we did get a Bedard in our tins. Now, the tins, obviously, for breaks four, five, and six, we got our first one. And then we got our first Bedard in our blaster case in break number five. Now, that was the last blaster case. That was the last four boxes of the case there. So the next four here that are remaining are for number two. But for hobby instances, we have not gotten a big Bedard. Um, but we got one, though. So there you go, Matt. You got that one for sure. And then we're going to randomize this one. And then you got a glossy. So I don't know, guys. I'm telling you. Could be something monstrous for two. So I appreciate it, guys. Um, let me switch scenes now, and I'll go left or right. On this one here. Roll it. 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Never left from the left side. Jesus. Boom. So all the lefts. So that's going to go to the Blackhawks. Appreciate it, guys. Number two is down to one left, guys. I'm telling you, that's going to be the one. 